I bow to the wisdom of all ages. I bow to the true wisdom. I bow to the great <coughs> invisible wisdom. <coughs> and this mantra is also really for protection because we're really like bowing, praying towards this great infinite, in, invisible wisdom that is always there, this greater power. Today, it is also a really powerful day in the Mayan calendar. They, some say that it is kind of like the, the new year. So, and it is a really powerful day to really kind of like set intention and to really visualize what you want to manifest in your life. So, to really have this right alignment, this right energy, and really clear, focused, and trust you will manifest a lot of beauty in your life.
sing it all together one more time in pure devotion, in pure trust from our heart. We just have to trust from our heart, from our crown, and tap in. And this infinite amount of wisdom will come through us, through our being, through our heart, through our head. sharing this beautiful mantra together. It sounds so beautiful, this devotion, this harmony. Okay. 
Varen Yam. Sat Sagitur Varen Yam. One more time. Sat Sagitur Varen Yam. And that means again God or Spirit. Sat means that. Sagitur means bright light or bright sun. And Varen Yam means greatest. So we're, we're praying to the greatest sun, the greatest God, the greatest light. Then we're singing Bargo Devasya Dimahi. Bargo Devasya Dimahi. One more time. Bargo Devasya Dimahi. And again, a powerful line. Bargo means Destroyer of misdeeds. Devasya means supreme god again. And Dimahi means knowledge in part. And then the last oh no, then comes Dio Yo Na. Dio Yo Na. One more time. Dio Yo Na. Which means intelligence. We are, are so the yo yo na and then pracho daya pracho daya which means enlightened so yeah all the words are just super powerful so this mantra like I'm watching every uh, week uh, the kirtan from Deva Premal a really famous kirtan singer. And she is kind of like sharing this mantra every week uh, online for like, she's singing it for like 20 minutes. And this healing energy that is created by singing that is sent out to different people in the world. So, and while we're singing it, we're focusing on our third eye, on our crown, to really feel this powerful energy in our crown, in our center. So, I invite you while you're seeing it, to really focus on this immense amount of healing energy and really tap into this frequency that we are creating all together. Oh yeah, let's sing it. <laughs> How many people already know this mantra? Oh, good. And how many people listen to Deva Primal? Huh? Oh yeah, the, so the chords are first A minor, the second line is A minor, then comes F, third line, then D minor, and then G.
Be violently devoted to someone or something. Cherish every perception. At the same time, forget about control. Allow the beloved to be herself and to change. Passion and compassion. Holding and letting go. This ache in your heart is holy. 
This ache in your heart is holy. Accept it as the rise of intimacy with life's secret ways. Devotion is the divine streaming through you from that place in you before time. Love's energy flows through your body toward a body and into eternity again. Surrender to this current of devotion and become one with the body of love. Bhakti Udrekat Vidrik Satya Ya Drishi Jayate Nati Sashakti Shankari Nityam Bhavaye Tam Tata Shiva Be wildly devoted to someone or something. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your wild hearts, for your devotion, for your long tongues, <laughs> proof of the wilderness with okay. And as we come into this devotion, this compassion, we pray to Hanuman, the monkey god, the orange one with the long tail. <laughs> and there are stories of Hanuman, so many stories of his heroic devotion. That is what we pray to when we pray to Hanuman. What it takes to wake up in the morning and do our spiritual work in the world, this devotion. Nothing comes in the way of it. I personally have days on my head. Maybe I'll take a nap <laughs> instead. And those are good too. And then there is this inner heroic devotion that must be involved. And this needs to be done. And I'm here as instrument to do this. And Hanuman was sent off by Rama and Sita once he had to like rip his chest open and inside were Rama and Sita. <coughs> so that is the image of devotion that comes out in a lot of texts in mythology. But as he ripped his heart open, this is what lived in there, what he is devoted to. Rama, the energy of integrity. Sita, the energy of pure devotion and love. When integrity, pure devotion and love come together, he wrote <coughs> Hanuman. Mm -hmm. So he was sent when Sita was sick one time. She was, uh, Ram told Hanuman, go get me this herb from this mountain over yonder, because I need this for Sita to heal. And Hanuman said, aye, aye, and got his army of monkeys together, and they flew, they were flying monkeys. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. <laughs> go get this herb from the mountain. And Hanuman was strong, his body was very strong, his heart, his devotion was strong, but his memory was weak. So he got to the mountain and he could not remember for the life of himself the name of this herb. <laughs> and what did Hanuman do? Because he had this strong body, he got the entire mountain. And he flew back with this entire mountain to the feet of Rama and Sita. He said, here we are, all the herbs you can eat. Please heal, we need you well. <laughs> so we sing to Hanuman with this devotion. Whatever it takes, we can lift mountains. There are teachers, my Buddhist teacher would say, you know, you can build a mountain by grains of sand. This also builds a mountain. And this, these grains of sand, you can think of them as our karma, the dharma, what we're doing in the world, our acts of goodness, our acts of kindness. All of these come together to also build a mountain. And then there is a mountain that is formed when the ground beneath you shakes. Everything you know falls apart. Everything that holds you together falls apart. And from that, the mountain emerges. And this is a formidable mountain that no storm can take down. So we pray to this mountain that we are. Yeah. All of us have felt this ground shake recently. I'm pretty sure you know, in the past few years, we've had everything taken away and we are building, we are resurrecting. So let's pray with this strength and courage and compassion. I'm just going to sing the, the verse first, and please repeat after me so we can all get the melody. The words are simple. It goes... <coughs> Yes. 
Yeah. 
Praise the Buddha, the teacher within. Praise the Dharma, the path of alignment. Praise the Sangha, the spiritual community. So these are the three energies of our ascension, of our of our uplifting evolution. So we can try actually to pronounce these sounds. There's some energy in the mantra because of the way the sound is made, yeah? So when you say Buddha, when you say Buddha, 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 there's a certain breath that comes out of the top. Buddha, 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 Buddha,